found an interesting article, um, dated 2016, uh, BNST. Let, let's, let me come back to this part here. Let's see if I can do it. Um, role in social behavior. Okay. So let me give you the site first. You can look this up. You can Google it. And BNST. There we go right there, right? BNST. BNST. Um, as it relates to the amygdala. Remember, my thinking is, or recall, my thinking is, here's our, our amygdala here. We have conclusive files we make here. And the frontal cortex, we get information coming in. So basically, um, everything, including me talking now, you're creating new files. These will be your source files, determining my, your conclusive files, again, whether I'm full of shit or not. Um, that You'll make that determination and whether you can take it um, once you make your conclusion on the files I get, that you create. I give you information, you hear the information, you then create a file up here. With that file, with the files, the multiple files, one, two, three, everything from his voice to um, his YouTube channel to other things you may take on. You may discredit, you may decide to discredit me or, or give it support or say, hmm, um, it goes that way. So it's tough luck. With that said, um, you have your files, you create files up here. One, two, three, four, whatever it is. All right, so right now I'm taking too long to move on. So let's move on. Um, after you make these files up here, your information files, your source files, you then make a conclusion. This is what I call conclusive files. Um, now you can make multiple conclusions. You can say, well, I think he might be okay. I'm not sure. So you've got to make it might be okay, and then you th have another file over next to it. There's a conclusive file that says, I'm not sure yet. Um, nevertheless, um, so now someone comes along and says, hey, that guy, Kai, he, he's full of shit. And you put that up here as a file up here. Well, somebody says he's full of shit. But you don't defend me either way because your files are neutral. They go this way and that way. But if you said Kai is he, he's awesome, man. He's 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 nailed it. And you don't have and you made a conclusive file that Kai is okay. When that someone else comes along and says, Hey, get Kai guy, he's full of shit. Well, that's contrary to your conclusive files. So that's an attack on you. Um, because someone's attacking your conclusive files. So you may you may fight back or or run. You may run away going, you know what, screw you and move on, or you may say, Hey, what do you mean by that? Well, I don't agree with you, or give me more information. That's you fighting at that point. So I'm saying it's it's your amygdala at that point that's 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 uh, questioning. Um, I say everything actually goes through your amygdala first, and if your amygdala has nothing on it, um, then I say it goes over here to new file source information. For example, um, have, I'm gonna give you guys a new file. Um, um, calculator on an oven top okay so it goes over here in a new file you've got nothing on that all right I just gave it to you I'm sure no one's you haven't heard that before it's go over here but now you've got calculator you got tons of files with calculators so you might be pulling up a bunch of images of calculators down here on the conclusive files you might be pulling up a bunch of images with ovens conclusive files but you're not pulling up anything with what I just said calculator on an oven top that's sitting out here by itself it doesn't get conclusive file. Besides, you know what? This is just bullshit. That goes to, I don't have to memorize that. I'll never run across one of those again. All right. With that said, this B and S T, how it all ties in. As we come down here, um, okay, so they're, they're saying it's dealing with PTSD, et cetera. This, is, this falls under, under my conclusive file statement, I think. In contrast, studies in both male and female patients with phobias, which cause anxiety states, Anxiety to me is you're you're recycling, you're 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 you've got to. I don't know if it's this way. I don't want to get too dis distracted, but I have another video that talks about anxiety and PTSD. That is, you have conclusive files that that are wrong, and you keep going back to your frontal cortex saying, "Give me a new answer from what I'm decided that I'm making my decision on right now." This anxiety, I have a file that's loading. My conclusive file says this is going on. And reality, it's not going on. It's stressing you out. And you say, hey, why am I feeling this way? And you go to the, you go get the, load the files that gives you this anxiety. Anxiety is not just a file by itself. It has, it has a source files to it. You load the source files. Oh, yeah, this person stresses me out. I hate my job. I'm not getting paid enough. I got bills due. I've got a court date tomorrow. All this stuff, all these together equals an anxiety file 
it doesn't go anywhere. So you say, oh, why am I feeling this stress? And you load up those files again. And it comes back down here and says, hey, this is why you're feeling stress. There's nothing to be resolved by it. So with, let's go down here now. Now let's go down to, so to this anxiety file. There's nothing you can fight. You know, maybe I can give it the B and ST. There's nothing you can fight. Your amygdala can't fight it. Um, so maybe it does live down in the, in, in to, because I'm described. I think the B and ST is my conclusive file right now. This is where I think that this is what it is. So it stays here and it goes back up and you say, give me a new, so, give me a new, give me a new answer. And you run the same file again. You come back with the same answer. Uh, files, source files. All right. So watch this. Um, it's predictable shock versus predictable shock. They use MRIs with this and to see if it activated the BNST part of the brain that they think is the BNST part of the brain and or what they're calling the BNST part of the brain. And then the next step beyond the BNST, so, uh, I guess and I guess they're alluding to saying that the next step is activated is the amygdala. So, um, so B activation was found, the BNST activation was found during periods when unpredictable shock was expected in contrast to the amygdala, which was activated in predictable shock. Um, using a different model. Okay, move, slide up a little bit. Let me slide up. Uh, often critical perception threat. Okay. So, um, sorry, give me a second here. I did a screenshot on it. I should just pull the darn screenshot up. That's going to be faster. Um, great. Give me a second on that. Okay. Screenshot. Nope. That was somebody else is looking at some. Great. Uh, screenshot, where are you? Okay, okay. Uh, something else going to write. Um, something I was going to show something about a movie. All right. Um, yeah, that's me with sugar, that's for sure. Okay, where's my screenshot at? Down here. There we go. In contrast, studies in both male and female patients with phobias which cause anxiety states, have uh, functional magnetic resonance imaging, F fMRIs, activated by the BNST, activation of the BNST. Um, okay, so this is where it's activated, right? Now they slide on when they show them spiders, just showing them there. So it appears that, you know, sort of we're talking about the subject, uh, a subject, you're okay with it. But now the subject is at a distance. But now when the subject becomes a threat that is closer to you, so watching the spiders behind a glass tank is no problem. I take the spiders out of the glass tank, and now all of a sudden you start feeling the fear, the amygdala kicks in, and it's something other. It's not watching like in a zoo. This is what is alluding to that, uh, hey, they're behind a cage. They're great. Tigers and bears are great to watch with the cage between you. Once you release the cage, though, now all of a sudden it's fight or flight, and the amygdala kicks in. So they're basically saying, look, you can do the spiders closer to how far the objects were such as spiders with no activation in the amygdala. Another study in which a real tarantula spider was used during brain imaging in healthy male and female participants found that the closer the, tarant closer the tarantula was placed uh, to the foot of the participant, the greater the activation of the BNST, but also in the amygdala. So this falls into my bear cage thing, I'm telling you. Hey, you can you load files that say, I'm safe here. There's a cage there. I can look at the bear. Um, he's not a threat. So the source files say, the, the, this is not a threat. Other people can watch it. We can move on. I've been to zoos all my life or whatever, so it's not a threat. Remove the cage, and now it's a whole nother game, um, and it's, it is a threat. This suggests diffusing states of threat, apprehension, and represents uh, difficulty to differently for the presence of actual threat. While only the BNST is active during imaginary, excuse me, imagery of a future threat. Both the BNST and amygdala are activated when faced with an actual threat. So, I, so again, conclusive files. I think this BNST is what I think this BNST is my conclusive where my B, where my conclusive file theory is living. Um, if the BNST is you know really as as his research shows. Um, so, you know, this is this is a summation of that. Again, this was done. Uh, this is not quite saying it like I'm saying it because they're trying to use spiders. And in reality, I'm saying it with everything. 
you have a problem with your wife when you come home, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever it may be, um, think about the source files. What your source files? I mean, you, a lot of times people say they're I'm sidetracked here, but you know, say I'm mad because I'm at work. All right, um, and 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 your wife triggered you, if you will, your girlfriend, your boyfriend triggered you, the snap. Uh, you know, no, you were always in that anger state. Your BNST was always, in this case, your BNST was still fired up. You were still in it, and you never got to resolve it with this other person. And and the irritation of the other person, your your, your relationship, um, is irritating you now, and 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 you snap. It's like petting a cat. You know, cats are great until you, and everyone's great until you get pet too many times. Um, I guess I, I guess that's not a good example, but um, I guess I'll have to do another video on that. So I'm going to cut my losses, and you can just write that last part off as me actually giving you another file to try to file another source file, and you can throw it in the trash. There's nothing to conclude from that because it just went nowhere, and that would be an example of how you, um, and I didn't want to do that. That would be an example of how you can have information that goes nowhere, no conclusive, no B and ST files need to be made, and you just trash it. All right, wish you guys all success, and I hope this is somewhat helpful. When I say somewhat, I'm uh, being modest. I hope it is helpful.